our tactical introduction uh, process is similar to the technical one. Um, in this case, though, the, the, the coach is going to design what's called a short-sighted game or a tactical game for understanding. Um, a tactical game for understanding uses modified rules, um, uses fewer players, and really isolates that tactic that you want players to be looking at. Um, an example of a tactical game for understanding may be if I am trying to teach uh, proper t uh, tactics and techniques for rundowns. Um, I would set up uh, or just let the kids play a game of running bases like they've probably played since they've been five or six years old. Um, and allow them to play this game, maybe you modify it a little bit, um, you put a couple rules in there that the runner has to start in the middle, the ball has to start on one end, maybe you switch to a tennis ball or a, a safety ball, something like that, um, if they haven't quite yet uh, done very much with, with catching the ball on the run. Um, and let them play with that for a while, let them work through it, and then as they begin to find what works, um, you can move on into the other stages. Um, basic performance stage, no baseball, um, no opponent, maybe moving slowly. Um, you could introduce a baseball here for something like rundowns, um, but for something like cutoffs and relays, at this point here, you really just want to make sure they're in the correct spot. And so by not introducing the baseball, um, at, yet at that point, uh, they're more focused on getting into the correct spot. Uh, then we move on to the intermediate questioning stage. And this is where you're going to find out what they really understand. Put them in different situations. What should we do when? Um, for example, um, in a rundown situation, if you're going to use, do an intermediate question, a question about rundowns, um, you might ask the player, what helped you catch the runner? Okay? Uh, if you have an infielder who's clearly not faster than the runner that he just caught, um, someone's going to pick up on the fact that as the ball was coming towards him, he was also moving towards the baseball and closing the distance on that base runner. Um, and so hopefully the players can answer a lot of those questions and lead themselves to the correct rules for the tactic. Uh, then we move on to the intermediate performance, uh, which is the maximum number of players at full speed. Um, we don't have an opponent yet. And then lastly, we introduce game conditions where maybe we have a base runner for uh, rundowns or we have base runners for cutoffs and relays.